Good morning, book to YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video. It's quiet here in West Michigan. It is January the 31st, 2020, 2023, 9.50 in the morning. It is about five degrees outside. It's kind of cold and snow on the ground. My wife left this morning to do errands, and I'm here by myself, and so I thought, hey, it's been two or three days since I made a video. I can just uh, come here and ramble, really. I really don't have any kind of agenda just to show you what I've been reading and listening to as far as music, writing in my diary. I'm on page, what page am I on? I'm on page 86 this morning for the year 2023. Last day of January 30, last day of January 2023, page 86. I'll probably write a couple more pages today. I usually write two or three pages, sometimes four pages a day. Plus, I write downstairs in my composition notebook before I go to bed down the lower level. So, writing in my diary. This morning, I really haven't read anything. Uh, I'm just kind of, um, you know, sometimes you feel like you're getting in a rut. You feel like every day is just the same. Nothing really changes. But, now, don't get me wrong, I like that. Uh, I'm 70 years old and I really uh, I really am thankful for my life. Now I realize that you take every day as it comes. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And so today I, I have we have a warm house. The bills are paid. You know, we're not in financial straits. We're not homeless. We're not afraid of being attacked by the Russians, the mus missiles there in Ukraine. We're not experiencing uh, horrible weather patterns like they are in California and other parts of the world. And like I read this morning, the, the, the West, the United States out in the West, they're running out of water. And I'm sure uh, that's going to be a major crisis, but throughout the history of mankind, people have migrated, left places because they ran out of water. And they're going to run out of water there in, out in the West. And we're just going to have to deal with it. So, uh, as far as what I have been reading in the mornings, I mean, I, I got kind of sick of everything I was reading in the mornings. I just got kind of tired. I told you one of my goals was to finish books throughout the year 2023, but I, I don't know. I just, I couldn't do it. But I did keep my William Perkins books because I'm, I'm not bored with them or tired of them. So yesterday I volunteered at the library used bookstore, The Book Nook, which was a Monday. And I read the gloss and the text, William Perkins on Interpreting Scripture with Scripture by Andrew S. Balich. So I did read this. I've read oh, 119 pages, and it's about 216 pages, the whole book. And... So I have been reading uh, also William Perkins' Architect of Puritism, edited by Joe R. Beakey and Greg Salazar. So I have been reading this. Yeah, I also have, I showed you the works of William Perkins. I have the, the 10 volume works of William Perkins in my study. I also have been reading Faith, Working Through Love, The Theology of William Perkins. Edited by Jar B. Q. Matthew N. Payne and J. Stephen Eula. So, if I do read anything, and plus I read, uh, I since I have the works, who has been reprinted, 
The works of William Perkins hadn't been reprinted since the 17th century. And I showed you that set that uh, Reformation Heritage published uh, the last couple of years. And so I read when it refers to those works and the footnotes in these volumes, I look them up in my set. So I do read William Perkins. Also in the mornings, uh, before my wife and I left, before my wife and I, no, before my wife left, we read for our devotions, this Puritan Classics, the Christian's Great Interest by William Country, and we've been reading the Valley of Vision, collection of Puritan prayers and devotions. So we do read these in the mornings before we have a time of prayer. So, yeah, I did get my um, 2023 February diary ready. I, usually I used to film those when I was making my new diary ready for the month, but I haven't been doing that lately, but uh, this is January. I keep when I keep a when I start a diary I use I use these folders and this is February it's going to be red <laughs> blood red and I have a little calendar I put in the front I, you, you get these at office supply stores so nothing really going on this month <laughs> to say uh, I have a Valentine's Day is the 14th uh, I have a therapy session on the 21st with my psychologist. So uh, it does say on February the 27th, Eastern Orthodox Lent begins. So I have these ready, my February. As I told you, the first folder is from the first of the month into the 15th. And then the second folder is from the 16th into the end of the month. And in the, in the month of February, we have just 28 days. So I probably start on the 14th. So on the this would be from 1 to the 14th. And then the second folder would be the 14th into the 28th. And so um, I have plenty of paper. <laughs> I told you I went to Staples and I bought paper. I have, and each of these comes, uh, how many, 120 sheets. So I have tons of paper and I bought some fresh pens, even though I keep all these pens by me on my desk. So I have lots of pens. I got tons of paper. I got my folders. I got, I'm just all set for the month of February, 2023. I can write, I can read the Psalms. The first Psalm is always a very famous Psalm. Uh, Psalm 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now these are all promises of God. <clears throat> but his delight is in the law of the Lord. <clears> the <throat> other day I read about William Perkins said, what is one of the marks of being a Christian? How do you know you're a Christian? How do you know that you really believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you've been born again and that you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you know Jesus Christ? Well, how do you know? One of the marks, he says, is that you delight in God. You delight in the Father, the you delight in the Son, and you delight in the Holy Spirit. 
And you also delight in his word, God's word, the Bible. How do you know that you're a Christian? You delight in the law of the Lord. You delight in the revelation of God and Holy Scripture. So I, like, I always like that verse. Uh, it says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law does he meditate day and night. You meditate in God's word day and night. Now, why do you do that? It's not out of legalism. It's not because you feel, if you don't, that God's going to beat you over the head with a stick. No, because the, the law of the Lord is when God reveals himself by his spirit, he opens the word of God and opens up your spiritual eyes to see God and all his divine perfections and his beauty and his glory. And you delight in God's law because it's perfect. For he is like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaves shall not, pro shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So... Yeah, I've been reading Perkins when I'm in the right kind of frame of mind. Uh, I did, yesterday I went to the Book Nook Library used bookstore and I didn't find anything, but I stopped at a thrift store on the way home to Action House and I found one book, Contested Conventions, The Struggle to Establish the Constitution and Save the Union, 1787 to 1789, by Melvin Helzawa. Now, as you all know, I'm watching my videos. I'm a student of American history, early American history, colonial history, uh, 19th century American history, American transcendentalism. I'm not really a Civil War kind of person. I do have a few books on the Civil War but I'm, I like literary American history, uh, history of Christianity in America, uh, the great second great awakening, the first great awakening, Jonathan Edwards, George Whitfield, uh, things like that. Uh, but uh, I like reading about uh, the, the founding fathers, like John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, uh, just goes on and on. Samuel, Andrew Jackson, and Ulysses Grant, and Abraham Lincoln, and people like that. But I didn't really find anything at the book nook. Um, really haven't. Uh, what I've been reading when I'm in the mood, as I've been reading, uh, I showed you this, Frankenstein by Jeanette Witherson. I'm almost done with this, and somebody in Booktube asked me to do a review of this, and so I've been thinking about it. I'm not really good at book reviews, because I'm just not good at them, but I did fill a form out I found on, I use, one to, I've done two book reviews over the years official review videos so I filled the form out and I still might and last night I copied off from Goodreads some reviews of Franken Frankenstein Frankenstein by Jeanette Witherson I always find the book reviews in Goodreads or in Amazon Usually if you find a, a book review on the internet and you go to it like the Wall Street Journal or some other thing, they want you to subscribe. You can't read the whole review. So I usually go to Goodreads or Amazon and sometimes you might find one that you don't have. You can read it without having to subscribe to the magazine or the journal. But I copied those off and I found them very interesting. I didn't mention, but a couple of weeks ago, I. My wife and I were out and we went to Salvation Army and I bought a bunch of books, used books. And one I didn't show you, but I, I did read the whole novel. It was called The Great Mistake by Jonathan Lee. 
And I read the whole thing, and um, it's, it came out in 2020, if I remember correctly, 2021. So I did read this. I thought about doing a book review of this. But I, did, I just bring this out because I do read <laughs> novels from one to, from the beginning to the end. It was an okay read. It, it, it didn't blow me away, but I did read the whole thing in about a week. I have been reading this. Uh, I took all the books I was reading the last couple of months. I took them down to the lower level. So I've only been, so I'm not reading those things I showed you in the past videos. Now, not saying I won't, I just put them down on the lower level. But I have been reading The Night Inspector by Frederick Bursch. Uh, I'm almost done with this. Well, I've read 145 pages and it's 100 and 275 pages. So I have been reading this. I did get this novel. I bought, I don't think I've shown this. Uh, I bought this a couple of weeks ago and I might read it after I finish this. The Night Inspector is uh, Blinding by, I, he's a Romanian writer who's been translated into English. Uh, I can't pronounce the name, but that's the name. It's Romanian translated. From the Romanian by Jean Coulter. So I have planned to read this. I pre-ordered another of his novels that had just been translated. That They had a printing but they ran out so they're reprinting it so I did order another of his novels. And I, I read like yesterday, last night, Will Self his uh, Why Read Selected Writings 2001 to 2021, his essays. I can read this when I can't read, I can read like essays or uh, short stories when my brain is not functioning normal. <laughs> but I do want to read Blinding by Carticio, I can't pronounce the name. And I, I am going to finish reading The Night Inspector. I might do a review of this. And I did finish reading The Great Mistake by Jonathan Lee. And I will still think about doing a book review of this. One thing about doing a book review of this, to be completely honest, is that there I have some Christian objections to this novel. Things that are very controversial and I don't like controversy. I don't like making controversial statements in my my book do. I'm not here to debate or argue my Christian ethics, but so that's why I'm kind of reluctant to do a book review because I don't want to offend my viewers. Uh, now you would think, if you know anything, I am a conservative evangelical Christian. I go by the Bible. And there are certain things that go on in our society as far as ethics that I don't agree with but I try to avoid those kind of subjects because I'm not here to be controversial. Now I do realize being a Christian by the very fact that I'm a Christian and that I believe that there is the unsaved and the saved, that there are the reprobate and the elect, that there is heaven and hell, that there is a day of judgment and that if you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that you're going to perish in your sin and you're going to go to hell. Now, I know that's controversial. But, because, uh, but I've said that over the years since I've been making videos. And um, at the same time, God is a loving God and he offers salvation to all. That God wants everyone to come to him and to experience the blessedness of fellowship and communion with him. No one, he says, come to me, all those are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Jesus is off, offer salvation and forgiveness of sins, eternal life to, to all those who see themselves as sinners and see their need of Christ. So I know that some things I say are controversial, but certain things I try to avoid 
because I'm here because I love books. <laughs> I'm not here to be controversial. I'm not here to be to preach to you guys. I'm just here to share my love for books, for writing in my diary. I love to write. I I I love the printed page. I love words, language. I love the world of the imagination. Those things I love and find delight in intellectually and spiritually. And I do like reading American history. Now it comes to music. Yesterday I got the new Joe, Joe Henry CD in the mail. All the eye can see. Joe Henry is one of my favorite music artists. And I did get the new Bob Dylan bootleg. Which, um, oh, Bob Dylan Fragments, Time Out of Mind Sessions, 1996 to 1997. So I did get those in the mail, and uh, I have been burning the, uh, the music of Have a Nice Life. They, they, just, re they just released on MP3s their the uh, voids and then I have have a nice life their record land of time of land this thing's gonna shut down so I better close this hope you're having a good reading week thank you for your comments do pray you're all doing well forgive me if I've said anything to offend you I don't mean to be offensive I want to be loving I want to be caring and compassionate so i bear quick this thing's going to shut off any moment until next time also have a good reading week thank you for the comments the new subscribers and so i'll sign off now bye